St. Norbert College is hoping to expand its historic legacy. On Monday, the De Pere City Council will vote on whether to approve a move to give more campus buildings historic recognition. NBC 26's Billy Wagness has more on that plan. Cassandra, if the plan is approved Monday, the first task a hired consultant would have would be to compile a list of all campus buildings built between 1951 and 1975. St. Norbert leaders say De Pere's history is alive and well on campus. And just in our, our heritage and our culture here on campus, our traditions, people feel when they step on campus, the radical hospitality that we like to extend. A community culture captured in brick, wood, and century old stone. And buildings are part of that culture. They've been here like Main Hall, for instance, since 1903, well over 100 years old. Currently, Main Hall is on both state and national registers of historic places. But Gene Hackbarth of the De Pere Historic Preservation Commission says that number could soon increase. I would expect that there will be more than six that would be eligible for listing on state and national registers. Hackbarth says state registration alone brings with it an opportunity to tap into tax credits and grants for a building's maintenance. So too does the federal government have historic tax credits. Preservation work that can be costly short term. But long term, it is very comparable with demolition and new construction. Plus, local labor ends up providing the expertise that is needed. Keeping pride and economic impact local. Now, to get those tax credits, however, property owners must comply to the standards for historic preservation put in place by the Department of Interior. Billy Wagness, NBC 26. Campus aside, De Pere has more than 150 buildings listed on state and national registers of historic places.